We're here to learn about the Diesel Technician Program at Oklahoma Technical College. We have our instructor, Brett Ritchie, here to tell us a little more about that. Yeah, so we have a Diesel Technology Program here under about a year. Uh, somebody could come in here and learn about what they need to learn to become a successful diesel technician. Uh, we train on medium and heavy duty trucks. So we have everything from transmissions, engines, electrical, steering, suspension, brakes, heating and air. Uh, we teach a little refrigeration as well. Um, and so about in under a year, you can have a career ready technician that comes out of this school. You wanna come see the shop? Yeah, let's go. All right. So here we are in the diesel technician lab. What does a typical day in class look like? Our typical day in the class, we start out maybe in the classroom, talk a little bit about what we're gonna do that day. Um, we come out, we work on uh, some of the trucks that we have out here. So we have some class eight tractors, uh, some medium duty uh, straight trucks that we work on. And you know, sometimes we work on engines, sometimes we work on transmissions, uh, sometimes we work on brakes. Currently, my, my morning class is working on brakes. They started brakes this week. So today, they learned a little bit about the brakes. Uh, first hour or two of class, and they actually came out here and took the wheels and tires off this truck, and they're inspecting the brakes right now. Seeing what components go where, how they work together um, as a system as a whole. And so we do a lot of hands-on training uh, out here, not just in the classroom, but we spend a lot of time in the, the shops um, learning because a lot of our, our students are hands-on learners. Mm -hmm. So when they can see parts in their hands, uh, they can see trucks out here and they actually get to work on them. That's when they really learn the most. Okay. Um, and that's how we're structured for a lot of our programs at the school. Okay. A lot of hands-on learning. That's awesome. So as their instructor, how do you support them and make sure they're having the best learning experience? Uh, how I support them, we have smaller class sizes. If you go to a traditional college, you might be in a class of 50 to 100 students. Yeah. Here, we're, we're pretty small on class sizes. So there's a lot of times that you're one-on-one -on -one with the instructor. If I have 10 or 15 guys in a class, I can spend a lot more time with those students. We support our students from the day they walk in until the day they graduate, and then even after graduation. Um, guys come to me years after they graduated and they say, hey, um, I have this issue going on. They can call me on my personal cell phone. I give everybody my cell phone number. They can ask me these questions. I'm, I'm free to answer them and uh, help them out as much as they can. That's you awesome. may not get that from other schools. And we're a nonprofit organization and the goal of our programs are to teach our students a skill that's practical for them and to support them from start to finish and beyond. Our career services department will connect you with resources that you need when you graduate and in the years beyond. Definitely. And, and we've all been out in this industry. Everybody that works here and teaches, we've worked in our industries, and so we know a lot of people, we have a lot of connections. Um, and that really helps us with our career services team on placement. Uh, when I can call somebody up and ask them, are you looking for employees? Um, or who, what are you looking for with your, your employees coming in? What do, you, what do you need from a technician? Kind of that standpoint. We get employers that come in all the time that talk to our students as well. And then we go on field trips as well too. So oh, cool. they get to see the industry inside and out. Awesome. That way. Well, will you show me some more of the tools that they'll be using? Yeah. Uh, so what we have for the students are, are toolkits that we supply. Um, these are the school's tools. Uh, some other schools you may go look at, you have to buy tools when you come in just to start. But we don't do that here. We supply the tools for the students. Um, basic hand tools, air tools, stuff that they're going to use day in and day out. Um, when they graduate, they're going to get a graduate tool as well. That's awesome. And our school is also military friendly, it's green certified, and our students come from all sorts of walks of life. We have people, what, fresh out of high school? Where else do our students come from? Yeah, we, we've got everybody from high schoolers. Um, I've had students as old as 60 or 70 years old. And it's never too late to change careers. Um, and with this program, you have a lot of people who have maybe started out in one realm of mechanics and then end up wanting to specialize in something else, so then they come into this. Yeah, that, that's definitely true. A lot of guys and gals that come into our program, maybe they had some experience uh, working on their own vehicles or, or helping a friend or family member out. And that's kind of where you get, get to started at a lot of times. Uh, we also have veterans that that was their MOS or their job in the military was working on equipment. Um, and so they come in here and this is kind of a good transition for them because it's something they're pretty familiar with. And then they get to learn to do it in the civilian world as well. Definitely. Do you have anything else that you want to show me? 
Yeah, we do have, uh, this is our main shop area that we've been walking through. We're gonna walk through an area in the back where we have engines, transmissions, differentials that we tear down. These guys get their hands dirty day in and day out. So we're gonna go take a look at that real quick. All right, let's go see it. So we're here in the engine shop and I wanna know more about what's the atmosphere in your classes like? The atmosphere in our classroom is, is really great. And I really get my students involved. Um, it, it, I'm not a type of instructor that likes to sit back and just, just speak from the board or do PowerPoints. I get all the students involved and so I'm big on participation in class. So when a student's sitting in class, I may ask them questions. I kind of put them on the spot a little bit, um, but they really enjoy it because I ask them their thoughts on their parents. And we're talking about engines, you know, I'll ask guys and gals in class, you know, um, how does the fuel pump work? And, and when they have to tell me that or, or, you know, speak their thoughts on that, it really gets them engaged and really makes them think about how things work. I look at that perspective. I've been a student myself in my lifetime. I've now been a teacher. Uh, so I, I see both sides of that. When I get people engaged, uh, they seem to have more fun with it and they stay away. And then you're able to keep, keep track of where your students are at. Are they getting the learning? Are they understanding? Right. And it makes them trust you more. It makes them more engaged in class. And our classes are kind of like a family. Yeah, they really are. Um, the atmosphere here is, is pretty light. Everybody likes to have a little fun. You gotta have fun when you're learning. Oh, if, yeah. you, if you're not having fun, you're not gonna learn very easily. Exactly. So we do like to have fun in, in our classroom. Um, out here in the shop, we tear down. Like I said earlier, we, we're very hands-on. Uh, a couple weeks ago, my morning class had this engine completely torn apart. I mean, every bolt and nut was off of this, on a table, on a shelf. Um, and now it's back together in a condition that it could run. And so these are some of the things you get to learn. And so where, what kind of industries and places have your students ended up working after they finish the program? A, a lot of our students end up in the trucking industry, but okay. some of them end up in the ag equipment industry, the construction awesome. equipment industry. Um, you know, some employers that we have, MHC Kenworth, Bobcat, uh, Cummins, Caterpillar. Uh, a lot of big names. Yeah. yeah, our students end up going to work for these places, and they really enjoy it. It's, it's a career they really like. So. That's great. Well, thank you so much for showing me around the shop and around the program. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to any of our admissions reps and come in and get a tour in person as well. Well, thank you so much for telling us about your programs. When can someone join in? When does enrollment start? At any time, you can come in, talk to our admissions reps. Our classes start every third week. Oh, cool. So come in, put your application in, and we'll hope to see you then. You can find more information on our website at oklahomatechnicalcollege.com. Click to request enrollment info, or you can call one of our admissions reps. So call us at 918-895-7500. We hope to see you soon. Thank you so much.